Hello friends, welcome again to Inspired Anew by God. This is your word for today. This word begins with the letter D. The letter D. What do you think that word is? How many words can you think of that would possibly begin with the letter D? Well, here we go for today's word that the Lord would like to impart to us today. I believe that this word has significance and implication not only for today, but for the immediate future and for the future to come. I believe there's coming a time and now is when the children of God are going to need this word to operate in their life than ever before. And the Lord has given us a window of opportunity, a small window of opportunity to dig down deep, to drill down deep into his word, to study more of his word and to hide them in our hearts. That in due season to come, when situations change, when our circumstances become more difficult, when we are being persecuted severely, that these words will rise up in our spirits and we will have cause to remember what the words say and that these words will bring comfort to us, will see us through, and will help to bring about this situation in our life. The word D stands for today, deliverance. Deliverance is the same root word from which we get salvation. Whenever we see in the scripture, where God says he's our salvation or he's bringing us deliverance. Those two words can be used interchangeably, salvation or deliverance. The Psalm says in Psalm 34 verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their troubles. The righteous cry, the Lord hears, and he delivers us out of our troubles. Psalm 107 verse 6, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. Have you ever seen a time like this, when there is so much distress? Distress on every hand, distress in every nation, distress in every facet of life. Distress in the workplace, distress at home, Distress in the society, distress in the government, distresses of all, all kinds and sizes and sorts. If we don't have an anchoring place, if we don't have faith in somebody bigger than you or I, what will we do? Where will we turn? We need an anchor of the soul, who is Jesus Christ, our deliverer. And Psalm 34, verse 4 says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Fears are coming down on us. Fears. Fears of death, fears of sickness, fears of cancer, fears of lack of funds, fears of when we get old, we have no one to take care of us. Fear of abuse, fear of theft, fear of robbery, fear of murder, you name it. Fears of all kinds are coming down on the world and on us. But we have to remember that the scripture says, for the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. In the book of James, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. So when fear is trying to take a hold of you and sink you in the pit of despair and depression and hopelessness, these are the words that the Lord wants us to have planted in our hearts that we will remember what his word says and that we will tap into the word, activate the words that are in us. One psalmist says, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. The goal of the enemy is to so oppress us and so fill us with fear and dread and doubt and unbelief that we will sin in our thoughts, in our speech against God. 
But when we have these words written on the inside, like a screen that we can turn the button on, turn on the switch, turn on the computer of the word in our brain, in our spirit, and pull out the appropriate words for the appropriate situation, then we will find help in time of need. And we will be able to call upon the power that is in Christ Jesus, as we spoke about in the other words for the week. We talk about Jesus, calling upon Jesus. That name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We talked about hope. Now God is wanting us to use these opportunities that we have to hide the word in our hearts, lest at any time we should let them slip and we should sin against him. So my beloved ones, I love you. The Lord loves you even more. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. There is deliverance with the Lord. And if you call upon him, cry out to him and ask for deliverance, which is salvation, he will hear and he will answer just because he loves you, just because he wants you to be saved and to be delivered, just because through your deliverance, it will bring a great testimony and glorification to his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so in our deliverance, in our crying out for deliverance, we will be able to stand fast in the liberty in which Christ has set us free. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So remember, deliverance comes from the Lord. And when the righteous cry unto him, he hears and he will deliver you. This is Inspired Anew by God channel under the auspices of Mobile Word and Clinic International. We aim to carry the word of God around the world and to do practical ministry in terms of mobile ministry, not only teaching the word, not only um, praying for healing and deliverance for souls, but also teaching practical skills and bringing medical missions to people where it's needed most. That's part of our ministry. And if you would like to find out more about this ministry, you may see uh, my email in the link below, or you can put it in your comments. And as the Lord leads us and guides us and shows us how we are to effectuate and actualize some of these things as he gives us the unction to do so, the ability and the provision, we would like to invite you to join us when we go, when the door opens again, when we go to some of these fields where God has sent us, that we might touch souls and touch lives and see them transform. So this is Mobile Word and Clinic, your hostess, Ingrid, God's princess, inspired anew by God. I hope this word touched your heart and was an inspiration to you. If you're in despair, if you have been neglected, denied, ostracized, if you're in prison, if you're in jail, if you're in some situation where your rights have been taken or you no longer have your freedom to move about as you would like, remember, you have a deliverer in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have a savior. You have one who loves you and one who is a comfort and one in whose name there is power greater than anything that we can do in the human flesh. Deliverance is the word for today. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their distresses and their troubles. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses. Psalm 50 verse 15, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Praise God. There's a reason for the deliverance that we may glorify God. 
2 Samuel 22, verse 2. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Praise God. And I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from my fears. May you seek the Lord. May you find him and find deliverance in this hour of great distress and fear. God bless you. Come again next week to inspire the new or next day sorry we are doing these words for each day and um, also please remember to subscribe to this channel invite your friends and family gather around the altar of prayer every time um, inspire the new is online please click the notification bell so that you can be aware when we post and also please help this channel to grow so that we can meet, help meet the needs, spiritual needs of so many others that are lonely, forsaken, that would love to hear a good word from the word of God, a word of encouragement that they can hold on until tomorrow. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you subscribing, liking and sharing this word and coming on to make your comments known. Thank you so much.